We've seen in pictures and movies what Christmas was like in the 19th century, the period dress, maybe less emphasis on shopping and more on togetherness. Well, every year the folks down in Fayetteville, Tennessee, bring that experience to life with their host of Christmas past celebration. Tammy Ardner was there for the 20th annual event. You know it's almost Christmas when you can hardly stay in your seat. From the very young to young at heart, the host of Christmas Past in Lincoln County stirs up more than just visions of sugar plums. The town square in Fayetteville is turned into a scene from the 1800s. It takes you back to the time when people congregated around the courthouse and engaged in commerce at local businesses instead of driving to a mall. The festival is centered around our beautiful downtown. Um, there are some surrounding areas that have events as well, but uh, we have snow. Actually, the snow is falling in Fayetteville today on this beautiful day. And uh, there, uh, there's a kid zone, uh, carriage rides, all kinds of food vendors and vendors around the downtown area, as well as all of our great stores, too. Hey, Carolyn. How's it going? Marvelous. Good Marvelous. to see you. Carolyn Denton with the Lincoln Fayetteville Chamber of Commerce says this town of just 7,000 can swell to nearly 20,000 during this three day event. Just started out with an idea. Someone thought that it would be good to have a festival and got a committee together and they brainstormed on it. Didn't really have a budget or know how it would work out, but 20 years later we've brought tens of thousands of people into our community and some people have even moved here after they've come for Host Christmas Pass. Carol Foster is with Fayetteville Main Street. She says it's not just a time to do your Christmas shopping, it's a time for renewing old friendships. You walk in the streets, you meet people, you see people you haven't seen in a long time. It's like a huge, large family reunion, and you make new friends. Well, all the visitors to Host of Christmas Pass come here and get a jump on the Christmas food and fun. It's actually the local charities of Lincoln County that benefit. Right behind us is Leadership Lincoln, and we sell corn every year. Probably they'll sell a thousand ears of corn. It's a big fundraiser for us. Uh, a lot of church groups. I think there's a church group right next to us and a, a baseball little league. It's a way for all of them to earn some good, easy money, say, as far as uh, keeping their operations going from year to year. Fayetteville Mayor John Underwood loves the fact that the host of Christmas Past takes him on a trip down memory lane. It's almost like a page from a Charles Dickens novel leaps to life as friends greet each other with the tip of a hat. Ah, Even Ebenezer Scrooge doesn't miss this gathering. And other holiday heavyweights make appearances as well. Santa Claus never misses this event. I want a good smile. Miss Claus doesn't either. Santa. Remember the letter from Angela, said Mrs. Claus? And what would Christmas be without snow? Yeah! Even on a 72 degree day, a snowball fight can break out during the host of Christmas past. We just wish for snow and it snows. <laughs> There's a company that comes in, has big blocks of ice, and they crunch it up and it turns into snow. And it's really fascinating because it is snow. The festival also focuses on food from mouth-watering barbecue to beautiful baked goods. But there was one temptation that no one could turn down. I have roasted corn ear. It's so good. Amy O'Neill of Fayetteville says it may not sound like a Christmas time treat, but the grilled goody is definitely a gift for the taste buds. I've never seen how they cook it before, but they soak it and then put it on the fire and it is so good. And you got butter all over it dripping off your chin and off it. It's good, good stuff. Whether eating or watching the Flat Creek dancers, the adults have just as much fun as the kids. Seeing the town of Fayetteville in its festive finest can be done on foot, or riding in the Moo Moo train, or hitching a ride on a horse-drawn carriage. However you choose to experience it, the host of Christmas Past is one event that is sure to usher in those visions of sugar plums, maybe even before the sun goes down.